from an optometrist. I would never use retinoid eye cream. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Joyce, dermatologist, and I was trying to respond to this video a couple times, so I thought I would give it a go. I went on a deep dive to see if there's any papers looking at exactly how retinol or retinoids affect the meibomian glands in your eyes, and I gotta say, the data is kind of lacking. Most of the data that we have looks at oral isotretinoin, that's Accutane, used for really severe acne, and how that causes dry eyes, and we know that does happen. I prescribe a lot of Accutane to my patients, and yes, the most common, most, most commonly seen side effect I see is dry eyes. And this lasts the entire time my patient is on Accutane. It's temporary, it does go away after about five to six months. I did find one paper published in 2012, and this was looking at the effects of retinoic acid on meibomian glands in rats. Pregnant rats actually had retinoic acid injected directly into their stomachs, intraperitoneally, and then their eyes were sectioned and stained to look at nerve fibers. And they did find a decreased density of meibomian glands as well as nerve innervation to those glands. However, rats and humans are very, very different, and we can't always directly apply findings in animal studies to humans, obviously. Now, let's get back to the million dollar question here, which is can you safely use eye creams with retinol or retinoids? My answer is a definite resounding yes, you definitely can. Just be really careful not to get it too close to here and here. Like you don't wanna be putting the cream directly in the eye, right? Because that would expose your eyes to the active ingredient and also just cause irritation overall. Eye cream is safe to use, just make sure you keep a clear margin around this area so that you know you're minimizing the damage to the eye. If you have any questions, any comments, drop it over there and don't forget to hit subscribe for lots more skincare tips and also myth busting.